New do, dead you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bayonetta 2. I am your host, unfortunately for you, Royal Crest, and in the last episode we took on Chapter 5, The Cathedral of Cascades. Today we are going to be taking on Chapter 6, The Bridge to the Heavens, um, and before we move on, we're going to actually go into the um, character settings, because this is a way that you can uh, a a change your weapons ahead of time before you enter the chapter. Um, so, we got a new weapon. <laughs> so, uh, we got a new weapon in Chernobog at the end of the last uh, chapter. We did not get a chance to use Chernobog because there were no gates of hell between when we got the LP and when we um, finished the chapter. So I'm going to be equipping it to our V-slot, and I'm going to be showing it off uh, to the best of my abilities in this chapter. Uh, chapter 6 has no... Uh, it doesn't have any uh, Muspelheims or items to get, so this is the first chapter of the game, or to my knowledge, besides like maybe the very very first beginning prologue part, where we can't be getting anything extra, so uh, let's begin. No cutscene? Okay, okay, bro, just, just keep, just take your time. But yeah, we got Chernobog. Chernobog has an ext is extremely large, deceptively big, but it's kind of funny, so we don't need to worry too much about it. Yeah, um, I forgot to mention that this is actually a boss chapter, although I didn't really want to say that purposely, and now that I think about it, I was in fact incorrect in saying that chapter 6 is the first one since the uh, beginning of the game. That doesn't have a Muspelheim or anything, because it is in fact, uh, chapter, uh, chapter 3 is a boss chapter as well, and that also has no things. But yeah, Chernobog is an interesting thing. It's kind of unfortunate that we got it right before this chapter because it makes it much more difficult to really um, show off because I feel like these flying sections are a little bit more difficult to accurately show off. But we can do number of climax, although we are too far away. Now we are underwater. I should have just saved the uh, Wicked Weave for, or the Umbrun Climax for that. And here we have the uh, next thing, so we can just turn a bog it. But yeah, turn a bog is kind of fun. Um, not so great on these bosses, I don't think. Because, ow. Because they tend to be kind of fast, so, and turn a bog is a little bit on the slower side, you have to be a little bit more careful. I definitely think it's a little bit better than, um... I think it's- I think it's better on, uh, smaller groups of enemies. Alright. Can we just... please? Alright, you know what? I don't even know what's going on anymore. to Chernobog. I wonder if Chernobog would be good with uh, Undyne. I feel like that might actually be a good combination, but I'm too lazy to switch it out. 
I just like having something with good range on it. Oh, hey. I missed the climax. Alright. There we go. Squish him, squish him, squish him. I don't think you'll be able to get a new one of Alright, that was verse one. And that was the entire chapter! Wow, I honestly forgot it was that short of a boss fight. Like, at least the, uh, glamour was like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay! Um, duly noted, I legitimately forgot that it was that short of a chapter. I thought there was another phase after that ending section, but I guess not. <laughs> Um, okay, well, you know what? You know what? That was, that was, that was chapter six. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, or leave a comment, whatever feels good for you. Uh, and with that, I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on chapter seven, the arc. Sorry for the shorter video, but I want to keep it chapter by chapter because I don't want to go for a super long amount of time because I don't remember how long chapter 7 is. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Mm -hmm.